What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ramon. Welcome to the new channel, man. As y'all can see, I'm you know man, I'm used to this YouTube stuff. But today I'm gonna be introducing myself and telling y'all a little bit about myself. Um first and foremost, you know, I go to college, you know, I'm in college, I mean, you know what I mean, college right now, doing online work, you know what I mean, trying to finish up my freshman year. I just got out of pre college like three weeks ago. Finished pre college with you know me two A pluses and a B plus. Um, and I'm going to college to play sports and you know get a degree and my you know me my major I'm majoring in sports management and um education. And I'm not gonna lie, like right now during this pandemic, you know it ain't no sports going on. I mean it's like basketball going on but like we not playing football right now they pushing everybody football season back until the spring so hopefully you know what i mean we played in but like right now it's not looking it's not looking too good so you know i can't even go on campus and then i can't even go on campus to do i mean workouts none of that like nobody can be on campus but like again like i said i'm in um college right now Doing online classes, still trying to get the, you know I mean these books or you know I mean what money situation right with uh, Hampton University, but you know I still haven't you know I mean, received no feedback on how they're gonna do that. Like you know, them books for them classes like they're they're not they're not cheap, like they're not cheap at all. And some like some of us still haven't received our financial aid uh, money yet, um, scholarship money like. We still haven't received none of that stuff, so I don't know. But you know, we'll see. Hopefully, everything you know, I me mean, work out for us or whatever. But today, I'm gonna be doing you know, I me mean, a Q and A video for y'all. Y'all, you know, I me. Mean, I'm that's just a little video for me to start off with by let you know, I me mean, introducing myself and telling y'all things that I like answering y'all questions or whatever. But let's get straight to the video, man. Let's go. All right. First question. Someone someone said my boy um my boy Chris had said why did I choose a HBCU over a PWI? So I chose that because I wanted to feel comfortable in in my environment, you know, I just wanna feel comfortable. Um it was close to home, Hampton was one of the schools that was being real with me, you know what I mean, they was giving me the most money, they had my major, um, the coaches, they love me, you know what I mean, they stay in contact, they visit my crib, you know, they just came and talked to me and just kept it, you know what I mean, 100 with me, and, like, I was supposed to go to ODU, but, though, something happened, and, you know what I mean, things happened for a reason, but, eventually, I was just blessed, you know what I mean, the the call a, a place home and it was right by the crib 20 minutes away from my house so you know i'm just blessed to be in this position that i'm that i i am in now excuse me but um yeah that's why i chose it like it's not it's not because of blacks and you know I me mean, whites like i just felt comfortable with my black people in the black community like i just fit perfect for hbcu and during this, you know, I mean, this time right now, where it's, you know, I mean, a lot of racism going on, um, as y'all can see, it kind of like, it kind of helped me see things better. Like with some, with, with some of these PWIs, it's a lot of races going on with these head coaches, these fans, these, you know, I mean, these professors, these principals, you know, I mean, the head man of the school. Like it's a lot of that stuff going on, so. I mean, I think I made the right choice, and I'm glad that I, no matter, I picked HBCU. But don't get me wrong, PWI is great, but you know, it's all about where you want to go at. Damn, my lights they falling, so I gotta fix them. But you no, know, but yeah, that's why I chose the HBCU over a, a PWI. It's a spider right there, bro. What the word? See that? But yeah, um, going on to the next question, man. Someone said. What is my dream goal? My dream goal, my dream goal is to you know go to the NFL. Like that's been my dream since I, since I was like four years old, coming out the you know what I mean coming out the wound. 
I was been that's when I started playing football for real. I started taking it serious. But yeah, that's my dream goal. I got a lot of dream goals, but that's the main one. I want to get to the NFL. I want to get my mom in a big house. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure my family and them and them straight. And you know, I just want to let me look out for my little bro and my little sister. I got a niece, so you know what I mean. I'm trying to you know me help her any way I can, and you know me take care of her whenever I need to t take care of her. Make sure she's straight at all times. But yeah, that's that's my um that's my that's my dream goal right there. Here we go with the next question. Um, my favorite song. Let's see. My favorite song. I got a lot of favorite songs, bro. Like, one of them, they're The Bigger Picture by Lil Baby, Emotionally Scarred by Lil Baby, um, Raw Wave, Freestyle. Like, Raw Wave, whole album, like, that thing go crazy. Lil Baby didn't go, go crazy. Like, man, it's a whole, it's a whole bunch. Someone, someone else said, but my homeboy Matt, he said, What's your favorite pair of Jordans? Let's see. Oof. Like, I don't even wear Jordans for real like that, but I think. I think the ones, them things hard. Like, them things are tough. The ones, um, forces, them things tough. No cap. But I think the ones, my favorite pair of Jordans for real, for real. But. The next question. Somebody said, "What's my height?" Um, I'm five seven and a half. A lot of people think I'm short. Like, a lot of people think like, I'm like six feet on on Instagram, but now I'm really five seven. But yeah, that's my height. Uh, somebody said, "What is your dream car?" My dream car is either a Corvette. Um, 2020 Camaro. I want a Camaro, a Rolls Royce, or an I8. I want to know. Or a Lambo. But that's what I want, though. Um, someone said, what is your favorite football team? I think they might be asking, like, NFL. Mine's Dallas Cowboys. Like, a lot of people don't like the Dallas Cowboys, but we finna run it up this year on God. Like, we finna run it up this year. But, you know, I've been liking them for a minute. I'm not even going to cap to you. Like, when Tony Romo was playing, oh, my gosh. I did not like the Cowboys at all. I was like, man, what is going on? Like, they only won four games every year. They barely even made the playoffs. Only won four games. But that's when I moved to the Seattle Seahawks. You know, we won the Super Bowl. Then I was like, damn, we got robbed against the Patriots. But yeah, like the Seahawks for for like a couple years, like four years, like the Seahawks. Then when we, once we got that, once Cowboys got that, I was like, mm, let me see, okay. They went to the playoff, they were snapping, had Ezekiel Elliott. I'm like, man, I'm gonna go back to my real team, man. Start, you know what I mean? Hopping a team or whatever, which I, that's what y'all call it. But yeah, that's my uh, favorite football team, though. Someone else said, what was your favorite high school memory? Hmm. My favorite high school memory was... I got a lot of high school memories, but my favorite one, it was in class. One of it was in class with my homeboy, my Sean, and my homegirl, Kyla. Like, we was always lit in that classroom. Like, it was, I think it was like, um, it was art. But it was like it was like photography where we would take pictures and edit pictures and all that stuff on the computer. But yeah, it was I think yeah, it was photography. And we would bro, we would stay lit. Like, dang, the sun going down. But we would stay lit. You know what I mean? In that classroom. And like it was just positive vibes. Like everybody just cooling, you know what I mean? Everybody just doing dumb, you know what I mean, laughing and giggling, joking around and doing their work. And that's one of my favorite memories. But with football, I got a lot of, like, a lot, like, 
as y'all like y'all don't know, but like I graduated from Austin of High School. A lot of y'all know that, like based off my Instagram and what y'all know and what y'all seen on my Instagram. You know, I graduated from Austin of High School, played football there, won the state championship three times. I came back with no ring. Like my senior year was the was the year I was supposed to get a ring. But you know, eventually we fell up we fell we fall short. Ended up losing 14 13. We got robbed. And, you know, I ended up being the Virginia State Player of the Year. And I'm like 5'7. Everybody like, he's that, like, he's small and he won Virginia State Player of the Year. And I'm a, like, receiver. Like, I play everything, but mainly I play with receiver. But, yeah, everybody was like, how? Everybody was like, wow. Like, it's crazy. Like, ain't nobody put up the numbers I put up my senior year. Except for my homeboy Keandre and my other dude Trevion Henderson, you know what I mean? Keandre he going to Penn State, which best for him. And Trevion Henderson he going to Ohio State play running back. He still got one more year. He got a ring. Keandre got a ring, but I don't got no ring though. So hopefully I get a ring at Hamp at Hampton if we have a season, man. But yeah, I did. I got. I had a. I have a lot of memories in high school, man. You know, I'm going to miss high school. I'm going to miss the teachers. I mean, classmates, football players, coaches. I mean, I'm going to miss them all, man. But it's been a a, a, a long journey. Like, I came a long way. You know, like, I came a long way. Like, I just, you know what I mean, been humble, waited for my time to come, and my, my time finally came, man. And I, mean, I just showed out. And, you know, as y'all can see, you know what I mean, I'm inked up, man, full sleeve, finna get my chest. Or whatever sometime a couple weeks some but on to the next question man someone else said who's my favorite artist my favorite artist is Lil Baby he taking over he already took over 2020 he already took over I'm just waiting on the next album he, we finna run it up run it up P hit your groove hit your groove shout out to my boy PJ man Hey, that boy doing his thing out here, bro. Like, I'm I'm proud of him. Like, he coming up big time. Like, tch, man, tch, that's my dog, for real. Long live the fallen soldiers, man. It's hey, It's been a rough year, y'all. I mean, I had some homeboys die. I mean, my boy R.P. to AJ. R.P. to Key, man. R.P. to all of them, dog. It's a sad, cold, it's a cold, cold world we living in. And, you know, just bodies dropping left and right, you know. And August, it's not going good at all. I'm talking about, like, I've been saying R.I.P. every month. Like, literally every month. And it's like, I'm not even feeling good. Like, I'm being honest with y'all because I'm going to be honest out here anyway with y'all. But I'm not even feeling good right now inside. Like, emotionally, like, like it's messing up. Like, it's messing up my body man it's like i don't feel right like, i don't feel happy like everything just seemed off like the feeling with my life just like dang like, i gotta make sure i'm not like i can't i gotta make sure i don't be buried six feet deep like, i gotta make sure i stay out the way like i gotta look over my shoulder 30 every second like i don't want to do that a lot that's what i'm trying to get out of here dog i'm trying to get me and my family out of here you know what i mean to go somewhere and just be safe at like you can come home and not worry about nothing. You can just live life. But in today's generation, it ain't even, it's not it's not like that. Like you gotta worry about going outside. You gotta worry about you know what I mean getting pulled over by the police and hopefully they don't shoot you or you know what I mean to do something crazy over you or to you. But you know I got a little brother. I got an older sister. I got a niece. You know. I gotta look out for them, you know. Especially my little bro, like my little bro, he do sports. So I, I'm he he growing up, you know. I mean he do sports, play basketball, want to play football. I mean he do both. He an athlete too. But I, you know, I gotta keep, you know, I mean, his, you know, his focus on whatever he want to do. And you know, he peed the LED lights, kind of lighting a little bit, a little bit suck, but it is what it is. But yeah, man. That's all the question day. You know what I mean? A lot of people that asked me. Um, oh, one last question before 
No man dip out of here. And when someone said, why you pick Hampton University? You had bigger offers and did you make varsity as a freshman? So once again, I picked Hampton because I felt like that was just home. Like, I felt like that was the best decision. They, I mean, they were showing me the most love, man. And they didn't even talk about football. That's the part that was just like, you know what I mean? That, that's the part that touched me. Like, they don't even care about football. They didn't want to know what I'm trying to do in life. Like, football ain't going to always be there for a long time, you know? So I just felt like that was home. Like, I messed, I like, I bonded with the coaches quick. Shout out to Coach Pronti for, you know what I mean, for recruiting me and getting me and putting me on the uh, the team. Shout out to Coach Brian, all the coaching staff. Shout out to Coach Scott and my pops for all of them just believing me and helping me through the recruiting process. Like, that recruiting process is hard. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, it's stressful. Like, there's so much that you got to deal with and go through. But, yeah, that's why I picked Hampton, bro. And yeah, I, I made freshman. I made varsity my freshman year. Like I snapped my whole ninth grade year on, on JV. I was a quarterback. My bad, y'all. Unfortunately, I ran out of storage. Had to go ahead and delete some stuff. But yeah, I mean that's the end of this video, man. I mean just like, subscribe. You know what I mean? Show so just show some love, support, man. You know, I'm so show support back with y'all, man. And, you know, just get a road to 100 subscribers. Then to 1K subscribers if we can. But, you know, I mean, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. My link to my Instagram and Twitter, Snapchat, will da be down below. And let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Peace out, man.